Uh, and we can we can watch uh, Kieran lose again. I think that's that's fun. It's almost half as entertaining as Ty Wolf losing. Almost half. So this is this is officially the top eight. Uh, Kieran versus Avery Ono. Uh, Trains versus Salaman Greats. Salaman Greats again doing standard Salaman Greats stuff. Is that just this what is, they do? Is that is what the they do. Pretty much. First turn is pretty much this. This is going to be your basic opening turn every time. Uh, ideally, you're going to have some some hand traps and some regular traps to kind of survive a turn. Uh, and then next turn, you're going to have more options. All aboard the ass weapon right now. That mm -hmm. friggin' ruffian rail car. Mm -hmm. Um, Karen said that they practiced together a lot, so, uh... He I mean, knew that he was going into this so as a loss. she knew how everything, how to stop my deck in its tracks. Would be... Karen's well, pawn. Maybe it's not the train, it's the conductor. Uh, yes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably true. Uh, game number two, uh... Right in the good mood. That, uh bluffing monster reborn gets hit with the twin twister so uh we're off to a great start set, set reborn now that's bold yeah um that's Karen like lost so heavy. that means that means that uh that means he chose to go first in a otk train i guess he was weighing the options and thought i'm i'd rather make dora pass than have to fight through um the trap probably just Probably just have something really big to sit on and hope they can't break through it. I mean, that, game that's that's how you that is how you play trains is sit on a big monster and hope they can't get past it. Is the BLS Link monster legal? Because that card's really nice. Uh, like in uh, the TCG now. I think uh, it's we allowed Link Frames two cards. Oh, we didn't get any of them, right? And uh, Kieran, doing his standard win with very few life points left. Long as which are coming in at uh, 450 life points. Kaboom! Choo choo! Uh, be on the lookout for. Oof! Ooh, big boy! Big boy! Bigger he made, boy. He made Star Screen and nuked the background. Yeah. That was cool. And then top decking called by the grave is not going to do anything for the Salaman Great player. So yeah, with uh, with four hundred and fifty light points, Kieran manages to steal that game. Uh he did say that that is the first game loss that Salaman Greats had all tournament. They were under There's some fruit Swiss. in this salad. They were <laughs> <laughs> They were undefeated. In Swiss, and that was the first game loss. <laughs> there is rude. <laughs> <laughs> I've waited all day to say it. Uh, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All it's aboard game. the pain train. Next stop, game win. Game three. I believe, I believe in the choo-choos. Hey, look, there's the, uh, the Sunlight Wolf. Jack Jaguar, Mirage Stalio board that you always see. Feels uh, like that'd be getting really boring really quick. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. But winning doesn't. That's true. Winning feels pretty matter. good. It doesn't matter if you're playing a boring deck as long as you win. I mean, oh, that's, that's why I can see I have... by the Great actually being good against Sailor Man grades. Yeah, so is DD Crow. But if they linked a dude with a dude, you get that spicy negate. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Next stop, Brick City. <laughs> so he top decks into probably the only card that would have possibly won him the game, but. Uh, the Got grade. negated. Yeah, but Roar is, uh, is right there to That's a hard fisting right there. That is. Uh, so. Game number two of the top eight is Odd Eyes versus Trick Stars. Zen Mode Man versus Kitsunebula. 
starting off strong with that engage. Feels good. Yeah. Feels strong. Mm hmm. There's a lot of sky strikers. Tricks. Tricks. Sky. Whatever. <laughs> It's like, oh wow, I managed to actually make a functioning deck and sneak it into the tournament. No <laughs> wonder I'm in the top 16. I mean, I think all of the top 8 have functioning decks, for the record. Fair enough. But why, though? Put why, but why? Though? <laughs> Because good cards are good? I don't know. That's true. Trickstar Sky Strikers. Why are they trying to win? <laughs> a map, apparently. Yeah. Uh, Apex Avian. Protecting... Negate. Chicken the gate. Uh, I love that card so much. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I do too. It's just such a brick. Yeah. Bunch of tryhards. <laughs> <laughs> Says the Preda Plant player. <laughs> They're like gym class heroes. Bring my meta deck to the freaking character tournament. Baiting I'll out... beat all of those Yugi one. <laughs> Baiting out the vortex with uh, the uh, Sky Striker popping card. I don't know what it's called. I'm still waiting for someone to come in here with a Yugi deck that's literally just like Berserker Solo. <laughs> 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 I'd allow it. It's just uh, three magical merchant. And, and it's just three. it's just it's just Breaker, the magical warrior, and Berserk. <laughs> What could go wrong? Round one, they're going up against Weevil. <laughs> <laughs> they have to win. They have to win. Draw. Draw. Monster card. Game number two. And I'll bring that next tournament. Don't there you worry. go. All right, good. This game number two looks awfully familiar. <laughs> that consistency, though. All right. Hey, you got the uh, the light stage this time. Doing some Sky Striker stuff. Stagger your cards just in case you sighted in uh, something. Mac Knights. I don't know. Uh, Pankertops showing his value once again. Dimensional barrier, calling pendulums. Now that should end That's the dirty. turn right there. You know what plays around that? Paper tops. Avian. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can pendulum summon this thing. <laughs> Which is really weird, but he does play around that. And I love that. That's another reason I love Avian. He plays around barrier. Like it's true. Uh, I think the scapegoat. End phase scapegoat's gonna be uh, again. Poor stuff. The the anchor that one. Interesting. Yeah. The amount of advantage you get from a scapegoat is pretty insane. Mm -hmm. oh, you mean you, you mean a plus three is good? Oh. Yeah. Go figure. I always thought scapegoat was broken, even before links. It's certainly one of those cards where it wouldn't take much. Right. Big pendulum summon. Mm-hmm. Come on, I want to see some Heart of the Cards. Do it! I mean, that was a hell of a swing back. Yeah. yeah. But he uses the bird of the Ooh. Interesting. Ooh! So, Widow anchoring Yuck. the, uh, the Deco Talker. Yeah, and, uh, he did not have yeah. enough life points to survive any sort of burn. Get us! So game number three. I'm so stoked uh, for this. I'm going first. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Maybe, maybe. Uh, actually, putting. I don't think, I don't, I don't think you ever want to start to go first. Not really. Not when uh, oh. Eyes can at least put up some some negates. So Ryan. Yes, David. Why does no one play Odd Eyes and everyone play Pendulum Magicians? It seems like it's just as competent of a deck. It's not. It oh, is. okay. That really ended that discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, it looks nice, but... It looks flashy. That's all I'm saying. I don't know what it's doing, but it looks good. If you don't... Yeah, it's... Is it just falling with style? Is that what you're going to tell me? 
Uh, I think it has, it's a little harder, or it's a little easier to stop. If you hit one or two things, it falls apart pretty quick. I think Pendulum Magicians have a little bit more staying power. Gotcha. They also have access to the wisdom. Well, the problem with Otta is you can brick a lot with your scales, having too many highs and like very little lows. Yeah. The reason that, that doesn't work with the Magician is because wisdom I exists. And because you have them, you'll never have a bad scale. And odd eyes can't normal level. summon. Yeah. So. And also, usually you usually have to play perform pals, which is, you know. I think odd eyes is probably the more fun one, but really, it's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Your chest hair looks like cleavage, for the record. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Get disgusted and turned on. Who's the weird one now? <laughs> you for bringing it up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dave equals <laughs> Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Don't stop me now. Cause he's having a good time. Having a good time. I'm having a ball. Beauty. Uh, top eight PT Devil versus Wooble Tubers. I said it right this time. PT made it far this time. PT did amazing this time. I have no faith in humanity then. <laughs> he had a bunch of danger to help him. It's That's okay. true. He was playing dangerously. <laughs> he's like, carry me deck, carry me! <laughs> no, he's playing the Cat G deck where you uh, blind lure. Blind lure! Ooh, blind lure. For, for the life of me, I don't know either. <laughs> How did I get so far? After not winning a single game in two years. <laughs> this deck just works. It's just... <laughs> All he that's, did was uh, a, put on some flex tape. That's a <laughs> weird flex, but okay. <laughs> some, some solid comeback Cinderella story here. <laughs> it's like I dodgeball. Believe, I honestly believe in him. You can do it. I want to see the little furries, fur, furries win. They won. Game number one. <laughs> <laughs> They're oh. probably gonna probably gonna lose game number two, but that's just uh, speculation at this point. Because there's three games. Is yes. that what you're saying? <laughs> that is what I'm saying. I want to see some Bigfoot x Black Sheep fan fiction right now. <sighs> No. <laughs> he lumbered through the jungle. His foot crushing leave and stick alike. She waited with bated breath as she was tied to the tree, knowing what horror was going to become of her. He smelled. He stunk. But she desired him. <laughs> I'd watch it. <laughs> More so out of curiosity than anything else. <laughs> oh, we're actually watching a duel. Of, okay. Uh, <laughs> Dragos <laughs> Polly, make whatever the fuck that is. I have no idea. Proud of Plant Dragos Topelia uh, needs to uh, needs a fusion monster and a dark monster. So he was able to get ABC Buster and uh, a <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> this wouldn't be my first rodeo, if you know what I mean. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, erotica. <laughs> He's more versed in homoerotic. <laughs> Dueling Buster Dragons. Homoerotica is really hard to write because since they both have a penis, it, you, you really start running out of metaphors for dicks. No, you have to, no, the problem is you have to specify which penis it is. Oh, that's true. It's not as obvious. Yeah. yeah. Talking about the... The, the royal penis. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan can contribute anytime he wants. I'll sit this one out. Thank you very much, fellas. <laughs> oh, a strong T set pass from, from the little player. All right, let's let's oh let's just drop that. Let's just drop that evenly for one. Let's just do it. <laughs> 
Open Not even too evenly and too droll off of the desires. That's some that's some bricks right there. Well, at least Tally Whacker. You can't write a erotic fan fiction <laughs> or Tally Whacker. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, one of the characters is a goofball and it's in the character for them. Because I think that's the hardest part about writing fan fiction is writing the characters as if they're actually in character, not just how you want them to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like all the Garfield trick. fan fictions. Where what? Is that where we? Is that the line? Is this where we stand? <laughs> that that dipped from like random into just like, you know, super strange. Like whoever watched Garfield is like, you know what I want to see? Garfield X, uh, whatever the dog's name was. Uh, Odie. Odie, right? <laughs> the what? Thing? Garfield X lasagna. <laughs> 100 life points from the uh, ABC player. Right. Can he pull it off? Yeah. I Maybe. I don't know. If PT loses this, then... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. There's a lot of effects going on on that oh, side no. of the board. I'm getting a little nervous here. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> like, way to go, PT. You screwed it up. <laughs> Uh, now we're gonna watch Ion, I Aeon, Aeon, and J Void What's play a heroic duel. Uh, Phantom Knights versus pretty much Dark Warrior heroes. I'm really curious on this because that looks like it's fun. Kieran just Kieran just divulged the information that he used to be hired to write erotic fan fiction, and it's easy to write characters in character if you know the material. That's a, that's a stab at Dave uh, and his writing style <laughs> skills, I think. Um, I honestly think the better material would come when you have absolutely no background for the material <laughs> whatsoever and you just guess. <laughs> you just hope it works. Superman frowned as he normally does. <laughs> <laughs> his um, wife Louise. Louise! <laughs> 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 Anyway, <laughs> as, understanding. as they rode their bike through Gotham. Uh, J Void scooped it up as soon as he started to see the Dark Law because Phantom Knights kind of lose to Dark Law. Dark Law is still pretty good. Like, he shook down a lot of decks. I like account. Kombucha Knight there. That's kind of fun. Um, I think Ion kind of bricked, opening up both malicious. Oh, the Mali curse lives on. Yeah, and then Solid Man isn't able to do anything. Solid Man was actually Kieran's uh, uh, pen name. Uh, <laughs> His Ellie, alias pen when he was man, writing Garfield fan fiction. <laughs> Solid Man. <laughs> Artist for hire. <laughs> <laughs> Trying that that'd solid be, man be, again. That'd be a deep cut reference. What's really weird is uh, with Mali at two, at least when he was at three, if you draw a double Mali, you could still resolve one of them. But now if you draw both of them, you, they're both dead. Mm -hmm. So it's a double garden. Jason uh, X day. One of the uh, things that Ion said was uh, for his equip targets, he decided to run a one off Moon Mirror Shield because it's a Davenator tournament. It's also the best card in the game, so I don't even want to hear it. You equip that thing to, like, Fossil Dyna, you just let all your dreams come through. Hey, if you really want to be me, you put it on anything and have it ram it to Dark Gaia. <laughs> <laughs> and literally out it with anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> so, so I think what you're saying is Dark Gaia is really not that good? Nah, I, mean, I You can crash a zero, 0 monster into it and win. <laughs> I attack uh, Maiden equipped with Moon Mirror Shield. <laughs> oh, you can attack with the blue eyes? No, with the Maiden. <laughs> uh, the final duel. The final <laughs> duel. Uh, he opens one Mally, which is unfortunate, but. He can get it out of his hand. It's true. You should be able to discard it. Isn't that banned? What? That Stratos thing. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Neos? 
No, Stratos. Um, I meant Stratos. <laughs> it was a joke. What's his effect? It's kind of the Stratos for the hero deck. <laughs> yeah, it's a Stratos for heroes. <laughs> it's a Stratos for heroes. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I know what Ooh, that does. Ooh, the dodge. Ooh, Mallet. Dark block to dark block. Dodging the Pankertops. Because Pankertops putting in work in this tournament. If he could just sit on Dark Law, he would pretty handily. Uh, I think so. I like the BLS too. This board is like old school. Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice to look at. It's true. The nostalgia is real. But and with it, Dark Law, it feels, it feels effective. I don't, yeah. I don't think there's anything. I mean, he does, does have the uh, burial from a different dimension, so. I don't know why he didn't set it. So, like, you get to put his stuff back. But, does he not have yeah, enough. But yes, so Ion continues on defeating the Phantom Knights. Huh, <laughs> clicking the subscribe button's a good move. I guess there's a first time for everything. Feel free to click on these third-rate videos from a fourth-rate Yugi tuber. But I don't have time for such amateurs. Come on, Mokuba, let's go get ice cream. <laughs>